মধ্যেই আমরা শুরু করব আজকে আমাদের অনুষ্ঠানের প্রধান অতিথি হিসেবে উপস্থিত থাকবেন গণপ্রজাতন্ত্রী বাংলাদেশ সরকারের অর্থ মন্ত্রণালয়ের माननीय মন্ত্রী মহোদয় আমরা আর কিছুক্ষণের মধ্যেই আমরা অনুষ্ঠান শুরু করতে যাচ্ছি ধন্যবাদ ইতোমধ্যে আমাদের আজকে সভাপতি যুব ক্রীড়া মন্ত্রণালয়ের माननीय প্রতিমন্ত্রী মহোদয় আমরা মহোদয়ের নির্দেশনা ক্রমে আমরা কিছুক্ষণের মধ্যেই আমরা আজকের অনুষ্ঠান শুরু করব ধন্যবাদ
Bismillahi. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon to all the dignitaries, guests, and delegates. Great joy and congratulations is my to all at the International Opening and Media Briefing Program of the Youth Vote 2020. I humbly welcome the chief guest of today's Location, Excellency A. H. M. Mustafa Kamal, AP, on Mini Government of, of Bangladesh. The Chair of today, His Excellency Jahid Asa, MP, on Chair, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bangladesh. Today's guest of honor, His Excellency Farhad Hussain. MP, Honorable Minister of State for the Ministry of Public Administration, Bangladesh. Today's his honor of the Chen Youth Forum, ICYF, and His Excellency, Mr. M.G. Akhtar Hussain, Secretary Ministry of Youth. First, remember and truly, I'm a lifelong advocate and the fashion to shake. Honorable guests, we all know Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has dedicated her life for the people and humanity. Early child the uncompromised welfare of the mankind. In the ongoing pandemic, COVID-19, her visionary leadership and making has situation in Bangladesh. Other of you, our Honorable Prime Minister, has laid a great management both and economic perspective in this crisis and she has been appraised for her role over the COVID-19 youth from the world has to us and staying and prove they are our real heroes. The Ministry of Youth and Sport of Bangladesh has noticed the contribution of the spirited youth and can initiative to recognition while we are Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020. The award will be given on the special contribution dynamic. That's why to recognize the youth who inherits the spirit and follows the footsteps of our Honorable Prime Minister, the Ministry of Youth and Sports is introducing this award. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to recite verse of the Holy Quran to begin today's occasion. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lil-nasi ta'muruna bil-ma'rufi wa tanhawna anil وتنهون عن المن تؤمنون بالله ولو آمن أهل الكتاب لكان خيرا لهم منهم المؤمنون وأكفاد صدق الله العظيم Translation 
of all the communities raised among men you are the best enjoying the good wrong and god if the people of the book had come to believe it was best for them only some believe and transgressors are many wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Thank you, Mr. Kari Maulana Muhammad Rubir Islam. Now I humbly request today's special guest, His Excellency M.D. Akhtar Hossein, Ms. Ports, to deliver his welcome speech to the guest participants and viewers of today. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable Chief Guest of today's International Opening and Media Briefing event of Shakhasina Yod Volunteer Award 2020, His Excellency A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal, FCA MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Finance, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, who is connected with us virtually. Today's Chair, His Excellency Mr. Zahid Hassan Rasel MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports. Today's guest of honor, His Excellency Farhad Hussain, MP. Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Public Administration, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Special guests, His Excellency Taha Ihan, Honorable President of the Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum. Distinguished guests, officials from ICOF, officials from different ministries, organizations, youth delegates, representatives of print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching us on live platforms. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to you all. First of all, I would like to pay my deepest gratitude and homage to the greatest Bengali of all times, our father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the icon of Yod, under whose wish we got our coveted independence. I would also like to recall and pay my deepest respect to all freedom fighters who participated and sacrificed their life for our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to today's international opening and media briefing event of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020, one of the most important events of Dhaka Wise Youth Capital. It is a great honor and privilege for me to be in the briefing program of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 in response to COVID-19. It is a great recognition for Bangladesh as we own the coveted YC Youth Capital 2020 by proving our merit in matters related to innovation, sports, culture, and inclusive youth leadership. It marks a significant recognition for the dynamic and determined leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her spent in the youth sector. The ICOF Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum and YC affiliate made this declaration on 25th December 2019. We were expected to launch the event sequence in April 2020, but the COVID-19 pushed us back and we have remodeled and relaunched ourselves on the web platform. Ladies and gentlemen, the prudential leader of the father of the nation, Bongo Bondu Shak Muzi, 1974, and since then it has been playing an instrumental role in different activities of YC from interest of Muslim Ummah in different international fora. The YC Youth Capital 2020 is an important program for not only the YC and ICYF but also Bangladesh. It coincides with the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, 
The event is also significant to us in this year as well as we will be celebrating Golden Jubilee that, that is 50th anniversary of our independence. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's celebration come at a time when the whole world is fighting one common enemy, the COVID-19 pandemic in, the, in its full glare. Based on the world's demographics, around half of the global population is around 30 years old today. These youth people are the most affected in COVID-19 pandemic as they are the most active stakeholders. This is disruptive in terms of their lifestyle and prospects for their future. However, this crisis situation has opened up numerous windows of opportunity for the youth to find alternative means in response to the COVID-19, especially for the more vulnerable communities and stakeholders in this as the future, but during the pandemic, the present against COVID-19. They have been the first responders to the crisis situation almost every, everywhere in the world. From providing food and relief, medical support, as well as buried and uh, the dead bodies of the COVID-affected patients when nobody else dared to. They have helped the health caregivers with uh, free transportation and ride during the lockdown situation. So showed great care to the stray animals, food for the duty heroes, and the lose on. While development and humanitarian opportunities, humanitarian approaches still too often ignore the power of young people as capable agents of change. Young people's role is leading shaping humanitarian recovery needs to be recognized. It's time to acknowledge and recognize their efforts and contributions in combating COVID-19 pandemic. Distinguished guests, Bangladesh as a nation has also shown great resistance against the COVID-19 and got great success under the prudent and visionary leadership of the Minister Sheikh Hasina. Our Honorable Prime Minister has been widely acclaimed for her successful role of in facing the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as other natural cyclone, tidal wave, flood, etc. So the name Sheikh Hasina, our Honorable Prime Minister and the daughter of Bangabandhu, shines like a bright star. And her leadership and contributions make her a role model globally in tackling and combating any natural calamities. Her, her Excellency Sheikh Hasina leadership in, uh, Hasina's leadership in combating and tackling the uh, COVID-19 has been phenomenal and the for quick economic recovery to march ahead towards the country's development goals have already started paying off. To encourage the YOIC in Sheikh Hasina International Youth Volunteer Award 2020 in response to COVID-19 will be given under the Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020 program. Its other objectives are to promote volunteerism to humanitarian activities give the young volunteers opportunity to compete and make with their global counterparts. Give the young volunteers mentorship opportunity where they will get to 
learn from others and make the youth feel an important stakeholder. Gentlemen, I would like to express thanks to YC and ICF once again selecting Dhaka as the YC youth capital and convey my gratitude towards the global leaders and dignitaries for their wholehearted support. I would like to express my hope and confidence towards the youth representatives of the YC member states and rest of the world. I hope that they will certainly make this world a better place. Let me appreciate you for responding to our call and appreciate in this pandemic situation. We hope YC Youth Capital 2020 will be a very successful event with all of your support and cooperation. Let me take the opportunity to invite you to attend all the programs to celebrate the birth centenary of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, events of Golden Jubilee, and rest of the programs of YC Youth Capital Dhaka 2020. The power of youth is the common strength for the whole world. The faces of young people are the faces of present and our future. No segment in the society can match with the idealism, enthusiasm, and courage of the young people. On board to better tomorrow together. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangabandhu. May Bangladesh live forever. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to call upon another special guest of today's event, C. Taha Aihan, President of the Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, who joined with us virtually today. Thank you very much, this, uh, this is wonderful. His Excellency Zahid Asan Rusal Bey, Member of Parliament and Honorable State Minister, Minister of Youth and Sports. His Excellency Farhat Hussain Bey, Member of Parliament and Honorable Minister of State, Minister of Public Administration. And His Excellency Mustafa Kemal Bey, uh, Member of Parliament and Honorable Minister of Finance. And His Excellency Asan Hussain Bey, Secretary of Minister of Youth and Sports. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's my utmost pleasure and honor to greet you in the press conference of program Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 response to COVID-19, which is now organized under the Dhaka Youth Capital. It's a great job today and contributed to the best implementation of this event to make it possible and to make it and welcome all the invitees who have come together on the occasion of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 response to COVID-19 under the umbrella of Dakar Youth Capital 2020. We had planned all the activities and programs for the all year long 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, also, fortunately, we have expanded 2020 to 2021 for the first half as well. And unfortunately, we had planned all the projects and programs to be implemented in person, but uh, up to now, we couldn't organize due to this COVID-19 pandemic. So I see this uh, award see that to COVID-19 as well. Here at this point, I would like to remind once again that as I see at the Corporation Youth Forum, we are tremendously glad that DACA was selected as a 6th of December 2019. DACA, or Youth Capital 2020, was inaugurated by the Honorable Prime Minister of in a virtual inauguration declaration ceremony on the 27th of July 2020. The inauguration program was attended with other Honorable Ministers, global leaders, and dignitaries as well. Hundreds of Muslim young people came together to share their vision, experiences, and his amazing opportunity, and to share the message of Dhaka and Bangladesh. Taking this opportunity once again, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Her Excellency, Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, the government of 
keep us out of Bangladesh for their hospitality. I wish we would have a chance to be in Dhaka in Bangladesh again before the end of 2021 to meet them, to hug them, to greet them in person. Inshallah, we will have a chance. Today, we gathered here for the international opening ceremony for the Youth Volunteer Award, which is one of our. It is so great to find that young people are willing to volunteer with enthusiasm, energy, and excitement. And also, I want to underline that we are seeing volunteerism as a, one of the motor powers for all the countries, for development, for cooperation, for integration, and for reaching the next step in the future. So we see mobilizing our young people, mobilizing our brothers and sisters in volunteerism, very important. We should be proud of youth. First, especially during the COVID-19 crisis, this kind of volunteerism uh, be seen as one of the most important response of a society against such a global crisis. In these times of COVID-19 and its far-reaching global economic, when Islamic Cooperation Forum, ICYF, has yet again proven its leadership and commitment to the advancement of youth issues and causes in the OIC region and beyond. As ICYF, we are pleased, we are pleased and feel blessed to support the youth and their valuable ideas and contribute to them. My dear brothers and sisters, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear distinguished guests, volunteerism is an important and increasingly popular mechanism for young people to bring change in, and it's becoming more and more relevant as a mechanism to engage young people in global peace and sustainable human development. I also want to uh, take your attention to the United Nations Security Council decision about integrating young people on peace and security. I believe that volunteerism complements formal education in teaching the skills that are required for the job market, such as leadership, teamwork, problem solving, planning, creativity, communication, and negotiation. This is especially important given the current global economic downturn where competition for jobs is increasing. The benefits of youth volunteerism are plentiful and our volunteer organizations and communities reap just as many benefits when they encourage volunteerism among our nation's youth, like incorporating new skills and ideas into your programs, fostering a community of trust and encouraging lifelong volunteerism. Volunteering gives you the opportunity to work through real challenges and make meaningful change. As young volunteers begin to notice real changes as a result of their effort, they establish a cognitive connection between effort and positive outcomes. As you know, in these tough times of pandemic and post-pandemic, it's crucial to get you together and mobilize their efforts towards much more effective and sustainable solutions and actions. In this context, Islamic Cooperation News Forum, ICYF, works with humanitarian institutions like United Nations Volunteers, Turkish Red Crescent, and International Red Crescent and Red Crosses Association, and many others, and will continue to develop strong volunteer networks in the OIC region. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, before concluding my statement, I again want to express my my to not to not to be able to be with you in person in Dhaka, to not to be able to greet you uh, in person in Dhaka, and I want to express again my hope and wish to be there in person with you uh, in soon. Then I would like to congratulate all the brothers and sisters for their contribution to volunteerism and all those who join and get award through ten different categories of this forum. On behalf of ICYF, let me say that we will continue to support our youth in all OIS member states in their good projects, in the field of youth policy and development, as we always do. I cordially thank you all once again for this program and giving me opportunity to address youth in this now location. By reiterating my profound thanks to you all, I pray to Allah the Almighty 
Allah ve Teala to grant us success in our programs and projects. We will certainly serve the youth of the Ummah effectively. And Maasalam, thank you very much for uh, giving your attention to me and listening to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Honorable President of ICYF, Mr. Taha Ayhan, for your inspiring speech. Dear guests, now with much honor, I would like to call upon our guest of honor, His Excellency Farhad Hussain, MP, Honorable Minister of State for the Ministry of Public Administration, Bangladesh. Thank you. Today, Chief Guest, His Excellency, HM Mustafa Kamal, FCA, MP Honorable Minister, the Republic of Here, His Excellency, Muhammad Jahid Ahusan Rasal, MP, Honorable State Minister for the Ministry of Youth, His Excellency, Taha Ahan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, and His Excellency Muhammad Akhtar Hussein, Secretary of the Ministry of Youth and Sports of Bangladesh. High officials and different ministries and organizations it's from ICYF, Excellencies, Youth Delegates, and Dignitaries. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a matter of immense pleasure to be attending the event, international opening and media briefing of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Airport. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the organizers for inviting me. At the same time, I would like to convey my sincere felicitation for naming this award by the name of our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. COVID-19, as we are aware, has changed our known world and has created a barrier for many of our day-to-day -day activities. However, by the grace of the Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we have been able to keep the COVID-19 situation situation under control, under the visionary leadership of our Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. Distinguished guests, volunteerism is an essential element of sustainable community development. During these dire times of COVID-19, there are millions losing hope on a daily basis. We are getting into complete chaos, giving rise to severe anxiety, panic, and self-centeredness. When most of us are about to fall apart, there are a few who rise to the occasion, like archangels, guarding the rays of us through distress, like our freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives in 1971 the young volunteers who hold our hands tightly till the last breath, risking their lives on the clock. So that we are able to set aside our tension and live at each. They may consider their efforts small, but to those held very efforts are on many occasions life-saving. I highly appreciate the fact that the Ministry of Youth and Sports has taken this great initiative to award the young volunteers around the world who have fought for us during COVID-19 pandemic situation. Respected guests, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is a constant source of inspiration and lighthouse for all humanitarian workers and the youth. She always tries to keep all working force active for development of the country. 
she has emphasized that nobody in Bangladesh should remain unemployed in this Muji year. I'm delighted to hear that Ministry of Youth and Sports of Bangladesh has taken several initiatives to celebrate this grand occasion as well as to combat this situation created by COVID-19 pandemic. At the same time, it has taken initiatives to engage the youth in global action from homes and abroad for recognition of youth activities in combating COVID-19, the Ministry of Youths and Sports decided to launch Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 under the umbrella of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020 Award will be given. In five categories at the international level, in COVID-19 pandemic, Young people from all over the world have proven that they can deal with any adverse situation and lead from the front. The youth of Bangladesh have also shown their indomitable spirit and have engaged themselves in various humanitarian and social welfare activities at volunteers during this time. From providing food and relief, they have facilitated emergency medical support, as well as buried the dead bodies of the COVID-infected patients when nobody else dared to. They have helped the health caregivers with free transportations and right during the lockdown situation, showed great care to the stray animals and provided food for the duty heroes and so on. As this award is going to be given uh, just internationally, I urge all Muslim youths from OIC member countries and representatives from Muslim uh, community from other parts of the world to join us in this event and submit details of their voluntary activities. I believe that it is a great opportunity for our youth to reach uh, their country uh, counterparts across the world as well as a, a commendable recognition for the youth volunteers around the world. I finally believe that this event will inspire and encourage more and more youth across the world and in Bangladesh to get into volunteerism. I wish all the excess of these great initiatives, Sheikh Hasina's Youth Volunteer Award. Thank you very much. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundu. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Now I would like to humbly request our chief guest of today's occasion, His Excellency A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal, FCA MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Finance, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh to deliver his valuable speech through words online. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honorable Chair, Honorable, honorable Guest of Honor, Honorable Special Guests, my colleagues in the Parliament, distinguished guests, and friends. The journalists, youth delegates, and all. Good afternoon to you all. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my friends, as you are aware, the year 2020 was a historic juncture in our life. As the nation has been celebrating two big occasions, the birth, same nation, and Golden Jubilee of our independence. In 1971, our voluntarily took up, took up arms in their hands under the leadership and direction of the father of the nation. And many of them sacrificed their lives our country, our beloved country, Bangladesh. 
At this context, I pay profound homage to our father of the nation, who were killed in 1975, and his companions were four national leaders who were also killed in jail. This is unthinkable in any part of I deeply remember the civilian freedom fighters who have sacrificed and got us the liberation of our country. All of us are aware of the fact that Bangladesh means Bangabandhu. Bangabandhu means Bangladesh. These two words are synonymous. Bangabandhu is immortal. He is always there with us as a source of power guide and as a source of power. My dear friends, I feel proud and honored today, glorious event for our young generations. I can see here all the young teachers, the iconic personalities who will one day shoulder the helm of our country. I would like to thank the Ministry of Youth and Sports for taking this wonderful initiative to give, the, to give this excellent award, Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020, response to COVID-19 under the umbrella of Dhaka YC Youth Academy. My dear friends, we see our youths everywhere. When we, as a, as a country, as a nation, are threatened and subjected to any sort of catastrophes, calamities, like during COVID-19, the rule was unprecedented. During the, during the last harvesting season, another, another time we saw them unitedly to come forward as there was no workers available at that time for They participated in this endeavor and they also helped our farmers. So they're always the role model for, for our country and for the cause of our humanity. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we will appreciate for every country, youths are the foundation. They act as a, they act as the prime movers to move forward a country. As a recognition of our youths for helping the cause of humanity, our honorable prime minister, Sheikh Hasina, dedicated to our youths. So far, the highest achievement of Bangladesh, our graduation from LDC to a developing country. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, for your wonderful gesture. Our Honorable Prime Minister strongly believes that our youth are the foundation and the prime mover who will lead the country and move it, move it forward to fulfill the desires of our father of the nation, Bangladesh. Golden Bangladesh. That Almighty Allah bless them to fulfill the attainment of their objective. Honorable Chair, this is the pertinent time for acknowledging the efforts of the youth volunteers with the recognition in the name of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteers Award not only in Bangladesh, but also in global arena. It is a great decision to name the award as our earlier speakers also spoke on the same occasion, the same subject. So I also strongly believe that the name, to name this award, Honorable Prime Minister, the mother of humanity, is the right one, the right choice. I hope all the youth volunteers from OIC members States, by member states, and from the Muslim communities, from other parts of the world, spontaneously participate 
this competition. I believe this award will encourage young volunteers to work more for the sake of humanity, for the cause of humanity. Almighty Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he has created mankind, he has also given us the responsibility to deliver services to our community members. So I think this is the way Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi volunteers, they are more obliged to our country people because they know the sacrifices what our forefathers have carried out for our independence and for our moving forward. I believe this award will encourage the young volunteers to work more for the civil community, as I said earlier. I wish all the success of this great initiative of awarding the Global Youth Sheikh Hasina Young Volunteers Award. I would like to thank you. I would like to thank you very much. Thank you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu, May Bangladesh, live forever. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Minister of State. Sorry. Thank you, Honorable Finance Minister, sir, for your amazing speech. It will definitely inspire the youth community to be held together for a better future. Now, I would like to request the chairperson of today's program, His Excellency MD Jahid Hassan Russell, MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Before we get started, I would like to convey my gratitude towards uh, today's chief guest, His Excellency Ahoma Mustafa Kamal, FCMP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Finance, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Today's guest of honor, His Excellency Farad Hussein, MP, Minister of State. Ministry of Public and Administration, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. The special guest, His Excellency Taha Ayan, President of the ICYF, and Mr. Mohammad Akhtar Hussain, Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bangladesh. All distinguished guests, journalists from print and electronic media, and all who have joined us online. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning, I humbly remember the greatest Bengali of all time, the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, whose prudent and visionary leadership enabled us to emerge on the world map today as an independent and sovereign country. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, the mother of humanity, Sheikh Hasina, who in her strong hands is leading Bangladesh towards become a developed country and a golden bangle. Distinguished guest, you must be aware that the Bangladesh Awam League President, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, the eldest daughter of the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, was vocal against Pakistani exploitation and uh, deprivations from her childhood. From facing death again and again in a struggling life to imprisonment, losing both of our parents and all brothers going through all short of ups and downs in life. Sheikh Hasina, once a student leader, has now become the prime minister for a record four times. Dear guest, if we look at the rich history of Bangladesh, we see that the youth community has made glorious contribution in every movement, every achievement in our nation's history, every movement including the language movement of 1952, the mass uprising of 1969, the Great Liberation War of 1971, and the autocratic movement of 1990 contains history of their great sacrifices. Honorable guest, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is the creator of the history of the new age of Bangladesh. She is a lighthouse of irresistible strength and inspiration in the eyes of youth. To the youth, she is a symbol of struggle, 
struggle against injustice and symbol of ideology. She has become the lighthouse for the youth through the idea and implementation of digital Bangladesh. The youth of our country now have the opportunity to make themselves more efficient by getting easy access to high-speed internet. Unemployed youth are creating employment opportunities for themselves through trainings. Many young people are becoming the top entrepreneurs of the country. Instead of looking for jobs, they are now providing employment opportunities to many unemployed youth. Bangladesh is one of top countries who have started vaccination at the early stage due to her successful initiatives to control COVID-19. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been named amongst the top three inspirational women leaders in the Commonwealth. Ladies and gentlemen, as the world is going through a very difficult time due to the impact caused by COVID-19 pandemic, and Bangladesh are no different. Our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been working tirelessly day and night to address the ongoing crisis. In early February, the two steps to bring back Bangladesh's standard in China. Shortly after the first infection was confirmed in early March, Honorable Prime Minister postponed the main opening ceremony of the birth centenary, closed all educational institutions and instructed less important business to operate online. She directed to use machines for screening to identify corona patients at all international air airport in the country. From the very beginning of the corona infection, she worked tirelessly every day to pull the reins of corona, and that is the reason why corona infection could not increase at a uh, geometric rate. Various sources, including local and foreign news outlets, have reported that in the current global epidemic, no other leader of the world has been seen to speak in the such a manner and provide courage to the people. Distinguished guest, this year is of great significance for Bangladesh as we are celebrating the 50 years of the independence of Bangladesh, of the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bongo Bundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Mujibiyar. Our Honorable Prime Minister emphasized that nobody in Bangladesh should remain unemployed in the Mujibiyar, holding that dream in heart as the major concerned authority for youth affairs and youth-related issues. Ministry of Youth and Sports of Bangladesh has taken some initiatives to celebrate the grand occasions as well as to combat the crisis situation created by COVID-19 pandemic. To create self-employment and employment opportunities to skill manpower, an agro and vocational training project has been conducted of the, for the village-bound youth due to the impact of COVID-19. Under the virtual skill development project, online training programs on outsourcing and communicative language have been proposed. E-commerce platform jubopaikarisel.com Youth branding, etc., are youth are, are other significant initiatives through which around 320,000 youth will be trained. And besides creating employment opportunities for over 300,000 people, around 5 million farmers and young entrepreneurs will be directly benefited for, from these projects. The Ministry of Youth and Sports of Bangladesh has also taken many initiatives to engage the youth in global action from home and abroad. We are hosting the YC Youth Capital 2020 this year, under which uh, 10 major international events have been planned to organize throughout the year. Dear guest, in this crisis situation caused by COVID-19 pandemic, young people from everywhere around the world have proven that they can deal with any adverse situation and lead from the front. The youth of Bangladesh have also shown their indomitable speed and have engaged themselves in various humanitarian and social welfare activities as volunteered during this time. From providing food and relief, they have facilitated emergency medical support as well as buried the dead bodies of the COVID-affected patients 
when nobody else did dare to. They have helped the health care uh, gifts with free transportation and ride during the lockdown situation. Showed great care to the state animals and provided food for the duty heroes and so on. The Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Governor of the People's Republic of Bangladesh wants to recognize the indomitable speech shown by the young volunteers across the globe in response to the COVID-19 pandemic by introducing Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer National and International Award 2020 under the Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020. In national level, awards will be given on 10 different categories. Top 100 will get awards and all registered participants will get a certificate of appreciation. The categories of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer National Awards 2020 are most, most inspiring volunteer story, first, the most impactful initiatives, best innovative idea, corporate support in volunteer youth activities, most impactful media personnel, community leadership and service, environmental response, act of bravery, service excellence, outstanding youth volunteer, a voluntary organization, registration for the national level has already been completed. And I am delighted to share with you have, with you have received overwhelming response with about 3,500 volunteers registered for the event. And for the international stage, we, have, we hope that we'll get similar response from the young volunteers from all over the world. There are five categories in the international stage of Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award. Youth of the world can demonstrate their voluntary initiatives in five categories. Volunteer leadership, media and service excellence, online volunteer campaign, best innovative idea, outstanding youth-led voluntary organization, distinguished guest. Although young people are always involved in various humanitarian activities, their contribution is often overlooked. Therefore, we believe that the Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award is a timely initiative that will be properly recognize the activities of the youth and encourage them to participate more in such activities in the future. Therefore, the Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award, which is being held for the first time this year, will be given every year by the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Honorable guest, I once again thank everyone with us today. I am concluding my speech my calling for spontaneous participation and cooperation from all make this competition a grand success. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Honorable Chief Guest, Honorable Finance Minister, and Honorable Minister of State uh, for giving us time. Joy Bangla, joy Bangabundu, may Bangladesh live forever. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Honorable State Minister, sir. We are truly honored. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will watch a promo video of the international stage of the Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 response to COVID-19. <laughs> Those live the fullest who live for others. The father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, lived his life for the people. He said, youth will succeed if they are ready to sacrifice. The mother of humanity, the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, has devoted herself in serving humanity. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister has successfully kept the outbreak at bay. And we keep fighting the menace. Her words and actions have always been an inspiration for the youth to come forward. We have witnessed how the youths of Bangladesh and the world have selflessly risked themselves to fight against coronavirus crisis and helped others to endure the hard times. 
in this year of the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, to recognize and inspire the voluntary contribution of the youth worldwide in the name of the exemplary humanitarian leader, the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh is organizing the Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 response to COVID-19 under the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020. Youth of the world can demonstrate their voluntary initiatives in five categories. The categories are volunteer leadership, media and service excellence, online volunteer campaign, best innovative idea, outstanding youth-led voluntary organization, Volunteers around the world will be selected from six regions. Ten winners from each region will win the regional award and at the grand finale stage, five global winners will be declared as the winners of the Sheikh Hasina Youth Volunteer Award 2020 response to COVID-19. Submit your volunteer activities to dhaka.oicyouthcapital.com. Submission deadline 15 April 2021. Take your part in embracing volunteerism. Set yourself as an example for others to step forward in necessity. Unite the spirit of humanity. opportunities and offerings with utmost optimism of great youth energy. We shall now enter into the question answer session. We know that some of you may have questions or queries about the award program. I ask you to feel free to ask any questions related to the award and we will try to answer them in a satisfactory way. But before that, I would like to inform you all there is a press release arranged for you in the registration booth. Please go and collect by yourself. Thank you. ইতিমধ্যে আমাদের বক্তব্যের মধ্য দিয়ে সকল কিছুই সকল প্রশ্নের উত্তর এসেছে তারপরও যদি আপনাদের মধ্য থেকে কোন ধরনের কোন প্রশ্ন আসে তাহলে আমরা সেটি উত্তর দিতে প্রস্তুত রয়েছি আপনাদের মধ্য থেকে যদিও আমাদের সকল উত্তর ইতিমধ্যে আমাদের সকলের বক্তব্যের মধ্য দিয়ে ফুটে উঠেছে তারপর যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে আমরা বক্তব্য দিতে পারি আর আমাদের বাংলায় প্রেস রিলিজ যাবে আমাদের রেজিস্ট্রেশন বুক বুথে আমাদের বাংলায় প্রেস রিলিজটা ওখানে আছে সেখান থেকে দয়া করে আপনারা সেটা নিয়ে যাবেন ধন্যবাদ হ্যালো সালামাইকুম স্যার আমার নাম হচ্ছে মাহবুব আমি বিটিভিতে কাজ করি আমার একটা কোশ্চেন ছিল আমরা ইতিমধ্যে জেনেছি যে দশটি ক্যাটাগরি যেটা আমাদের দেশীয় যে ক্যাটাগরি সেই রেজিস্ট্রেশন কমপ্লিট হয়েছে এবং আজকে ওপেন হয়েছে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল পাঁচটি ক্যাটাগরির জন্য দেশীয় যে দশটি ক্যাটাগরির রেজিস্ট্রেশন হয়েছে সেখানে বিজয়ীদের নাম কবে নাগাদ ডিক্লারেশন দেওয়া হবে ইতিমধ্যে আপনারা জেনেছেন যে সাড়ে তিন হাজারের মতো আমাদের রেজিস্ট্রেশন করেছে আমাদের শেখ হাসিনা ইউথ ভলেন্টিয়ার অ্যাওয়ার্ড যেটি আমরা জাতীয়ভাবে করেছি সেটি আমরা ইতিমধ্যে এটি যাচাই বাছাই শুরু হয়েছে যেহেতু ইন্টারন্যাশনালি আমরা করছি ইন্টারন্যাশনালিও রেজিস্ট্রেশন চলবে আর এর মধ্যে আমাদের যাচাই বাচাই ও আমাদের কাজ চলমান থাকবে আমরা একসাথে যেদিন আমাদের মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী সমাপনী অনুষ্ঠানটি হবে সেই দিনে সেই অনুষ্ঠানে আমরা একসাথে আমাদের পুরস্কার আমরা ঘোষণা করব এর আগে এবং সেদিনই আমাদের একসাথে পুরস্কার ন্যাশনাল এবং ইন্টারন্যাশনাল পুরস্কারটি আমরা সেদিন দেবো একসাথে ধন্যবাদ যদি আর কোনো প্রশ্ন থেকে থাকে যেহেতু আমার মনে হয় যে যেহেতু আমাদের অলরেডি বক্তব্যের মধ্যেই সকল প্রশ্নের উত্তর এসেছে তারপর যেহেতু আর হয়তো কারো বক্তব্য নেই আপনাদের সকলকে আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আপনারা কষ্ট করে এখানে উপস্থিত হবার জন্য ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে আসসালামু আলাইকুম
Dear guests, our program is near to end. The registration procedure of the International Stage for the Award will start today and will continue till April 15, 2021. We hope that the youth from all over the world